Look at all this yeah. garbage, messy desk. And it's much worse than just that. Uh, oh my! Like my hat. Chicky says she already has one. That sucks. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! That's what I said. Oh my gosh! Why are you recording? Whoa! I'm showing, oh my gosh, look at this, this mess, this mess, oh my gosh, this mess. Yeah, Another? I clean this mess from drinking. And your truck. Oh, where are you going? Wait, 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 Ryan, where are you going? Where are you going? No, 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 where are you going? Bye, babe. Why are you videoing this, Dad? Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. EJ cleaned this morning. What the hell? Is that your cleaning? Yeah. Oh, I didn't even think of that. You're the one throwing away my cases. You just throw the bread away inside or whatever's inside. Not the whole freaking plastic container. <laughs> we can put motorcycle parts in this or something. What's going on, boss? I'm boiling water for your coffee. Oh, for my coffee? Yeah. Oh, you want me to have energy? Why are you yeah. making more vlogs? Don't you have like nice Yes! I have like 20 videos to edit, but there's a reason we're doing this. And I'll show you the reason. Check this out. It's hidden underneath these curtains. Oh shit, what's that? What's this? What is this? What is it? It's, it's obvious. There's something in it. Oh my. Oh, oh, what is it? A million dollars? Newspaper. Oh shit. Oh, oh, oh my, my. It's plastic. <coughs> oh my. We got these forever ago. These are winglets oh for the bike. My. It's Plastic. And I still have not finished these. Raven keeps asking about them. <laughs> oh, don't worry, don't worry. So I got some goodies from America. I got Bondo filling putty. I got the stuff from the Philippines, but... It's different. Yeah, it's different. This guy here says it's not good, that it's too heavy and hard to work with. So, I got Bondo. And I got putty knives, because in the Philippines they have these weird metal knife things. And <laughs> like, like a spackle that you would use for a wall, not spackle, like a spackle you would use for the wall in a house. So they, I have not seen these rubber ones in the Philippines. I, got, I ordered these too. And also have the sandpaper and everything like that from the Philippines. I don't, I don't think it's going to be that much different from America. Here's our sandpaper, different grades from DIY. And... I save pizza boxes so we can do our Bondo mixing and everything on that. Brian thinks that you mix the stuff just with two of the spackles, the metal spackles, and that's how you mix it up and put it on. That, that's crazy. How, how are you gonna have the that's exact good. mix? You're gonna have the exact mix when you do it? They do stuff the hard way, it sounds like. And whatever you don't use is gonna be wasted immediately if you don't have anything to put it on. So now the question is, where are we doing this at? All right, looks like this is as good a spot of anywhere. Like my new uh, handle thing. I got a tripod from across the street. I just hold it out like this. Hey, what's up? Da 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 da. Talking to the camera. I think this is gonna be our workspace. So we'll just go like this. So to me, the bathroom seems like the easiest place to clean up the mess that we're gonna make here. Correct. See, Philippines, you should have these. Look at that. What Much easier to work with Bondo. I know, that's why I said you should have them. Also got a Dremel kit. pretty messy right now. I've got four of these to do. Two of them are for me and two for Raven. So whichever ones don't work that I did wrong, that's Raven's. <laughs> so we're starting to get to the point where I'm gonna have to be more careful and do fine tuning type stuff. It's a little bit. So most of the hairs are knocked down, most of the shape is in place. Oh, not there, huh? That's basically it. 
put the cutting wheel on and cut this hole out. But I think I'm gonna fill it in with putty first. This is pretty much what we got right now. Ooh. That's how it's looking. Next step will be Bondo. Mix this up. I was gonna say it should turn like a pink color, but I haven't done it in so long, so many years. Yep, it's pink. There's also a finishing putty, but that's pretty difficult for me to ask a friend to go pick that up. It'd be hard for him to find, so I just went with Bondo because it's easy. I get that pretty much anywhere. So I'm gonna smooth them out before this dries up on me. It's been a long time since I've done something like this. You know what's crazy? I went to the DUI store where I bought all the sandpaper and I looked for a sanding block and they don't have any. They don't have any type of sanding blocks, but they sell the paper that you use with sanding blocks. So I picked up something for like a light switch or something that is flat, so I'll just use that as my sanding block later. Holy shit, this is already drying. Wow, are you serious? Yes. That was super fast. Wow. All right. So. <laughs> Man, I didn't even get to smooth it yet and it dried. Told you it's hot in here. And I probably used too much hardener. All right, so this is the first one. That's gonna be a pain to work on. Good I have the Dremel. Let's see this. Just pick it up like that. Throw this in the garbage. this off and peel it off once it's uh, dried up. Oh, so yeah, this is still good to use. Man, this stuff is drying up way faster than I can use it. I don't know if that's the heat. Probably using too much hardener by looking at the pinkness of it. But it looks like I'm gonna do a lot more sanding and reapplies than I expected. Every time I do this on all these pieces, I've been using less and less hardener mixing up less material. The trick is to try to put it on pretty smooth so you don't have as much sanding to deal with later, but I'm okay with sanding now, for now, until we get the basic of what we're trying to accomplish. Well, it's not dry all the way, but what you do with these rubber ones, bam, look at that, nice, perfect, and clean. Just bend it and peel it off. This ain't dry all the way, so it's not just peeling off so easy. Yeah, see, there you go. Nice, ready to use again. You guys should have these in the Philippines. This is taking way longer than I expected to do it. All right, got most all the high spots knocked down that were like way over. I'm gonna straighten all this out. Got this file. If it's flat, it'll get a nice flat. Whoops. See, it's getting there. Looking better. Some edges right there. It's definitely going to need a little bit more added to it. Get the right shape. It ain't easy, but take your time and do it right. It'll be worth it later. Now to get out the heavy duty sandpaper, we got 60 grit. Getting there. Since I'm wrapping it, this would be good enough, but I'm gonna go ahead and fix it better than that. So who knows, maybe someday I wanna paint it. 
Alright, I think I got it to a point where I feel comfortable putting on another coat. Get ready to sand again. We'll get all these sand marks out and everything. After we get the shape exactly how we want, I'll uh, start using real thin sandpaper. Since they didn't have sanding blocks, I bought this thing. Figure it's a flat surface, I can just wrap the sandpaper in here. And it'll give me the nice shape that I'm looking for. This is taking a ridiculous amount of time. But yeah. I still have to put more coats on these. And I have been doing this all night long. Oh man. Next time, I'm just letting them finish it. Alright, got that finished and ready for another coat. See right here, it's weak. Right here, it needs smoothed out. Put a little bit on the back for strength. I was right about to throw these away, but actually where they don't sell them in the Philippines, I think I'm going to clean them up and keep them. Get some spray bleach in my Febreze bottle. Get all that Bondo crud off that's still on there. Oh, it works really good. It's coming right off. If you sand it off, you don't get scratches, and then the Bondo's always going to stick to those scratch pots. Bam! It's clean, just like brand new. Oh yeah. I got one hell of a mess to clean. Shit. This stuff is everywhere. There's dust and dirt. I don't know if the camera's picking it up, but it's pretty thick everywhere. 